the most cherished trophy in the world of harness racing, the Hamiltonian Trophy, awarded since 1926 to the best three-year-old trotter. An event steeped in tradition found a new home at the New Jersey Meadowlands back in 1981. And this year, with a new look at the new Meadowlands racetrack, and a field headed by an overwhelming favorite. Father Patrick is riding a 15-race win streak. But today, in his biggest race yet, he faces the outside post position against a talented field of 10 others, all hoping to find their way to the winner's circle. The Hambletonian is up next on the CBS Sports Network. It's a big day for Father Patrick, a horse considered to be one of the greatest trotters of all time. But he'll need to be at his best to defeat 10 other talented colts in Harness Racing's biggest race, the Hambletonian. And it all happens on the sport's biggest stage, otherwise known as the Meadowlands Racetrack in East Rutherford, New Jersey, home to the Hambletonian for the last 33 years. Let's take a look at what's coming up today. Great show, great racing, as always on Hambletonian Day. We'll start out with the older trotters, the best in the world, in the John Cashman Jr. Memorial free-for-all trot, $300,000 on the line there. And then we'll get to the three-year-olds, starting with the three-year-old Philly trotters and the Hambletonian Oaks. Half a million dollars up for grabs, and that will be followed by the showcase event the biggest race in all of harness racing, the 89th Hambletonian, once again, going for a million dollars. Hello, everyone. I'm Gary Seibel, and welcome to CBS Sports Network's coverage of the 89th Hambletonian. I'm joined by racing analyst and longtime Meadowlands odds maker and handicapper Dave Brower for what promises to be a landmark day in the sport of harness racing. And Gary, so many great storylines surround this year's Hambletonian. It's the first that will be conducted in front of the beautiful, brand new $110 million grandstand. Also, this is the first uh, time in the, era, the modern era of the Hambletonian history that no eliminations were required. So we have 11 Colts and Geldings that will go right to the gate, one dash for the cash, and let's be realistic about the entire overall day here. It's all about trainer Jimmy Tactor. Because so few horses entered, many harness racing fans are, they're not calling it the Hamiltonian, they're calling it the Tactortonian. And we're going to show you why, because for the first time in history, in the final major prep for the Hamiltonian, the Stanley Dance Memorial three weeks ago here at the Meadowlands, it was Tactor. One one, two, three, and certainly no doubt about it. Certainly unprecedented, but let's concentrate on the horse in front. That is the favorite for today. That is Father Patrick. This is his 15th straight win. You know, it's tough enough to get one horse into the Hamiltonian. Jimmy Tactor will have three. He's followed home there, and the dancer by stable mates Nuncio and Trixton. The final time of that race three weeks ago was 151 and three. What we can show you now with the Hamiltonian coming up later are the morning line odds. Resolve. This is trained by Jimmy Tactor's daughter, Nancy Johansson. But Jimmy says, you know, she's on her own. She's got to win it. Jimmy wants to win it badly today with Father Patrick, but he'd also like to drive his first Hamiltonian winner in Trixton, who is 7-2 on the morning line. And let's not forget about the third part of that Tactor trio. That was Nuncio at morning line odds of 9-2. John Campbell, the all-time winningest driver in, ha in Hamiltonian history. He's won it six times. He's looking for his lucky seventh, and the rest are pretty much 
much long shots, Gary. It's like I said, it's all about Tactor. We'll see if any of the other contestants can really make a, a good race out of it, and we'll see whether that outside post makes a big difference for Father Patrick. That's the feature race on our program today, the feature race in the sport. The three-year-old Philly Trotters go postward in the Hambletonian Oaks, the counterpart to the Hambletonian. We talked about Tactor having three. Trainer Julie Miller, who looks to become the first female trainer to win the Oaks, also has three. She has a tremendous shot here, including the two to one morning line favorite in Design to Be from the inside post. Well, it is all about the threes today, but not for Design to Be since she drew that pole position and she was made the morning line favorite despite two straight losses to her arch rival, Shake It Seri. Shake It Carry. Shake It Carry, we talk about her again. It's Jimmy Tactor who trains. But the key thing about today's Hamiltonian Oaks is she will start from post position 11, which is in the second tier most likely she'll line up right behind the Philly she has to beat designed to be this is quite a rivalry we've developed between two great daughters of sire Donato Hanover and should Jimmy Tactor win the Hamiltonian Oaks and come back to win the Hamiltonian he'll be just the second trainer in history to capture both races on the same day that's coming up later as well but first on our program the older trotters and the John Cashman Jr. Memorial John Cashman one of the greatest racing executives in the history of the sport of harness racing. These are the current odds. Now, Sebastian Kay, who weeks ago trotted the fastest mile in the history of harness racing, 149 flat, was in fact three to five on the morning line. He's one to five now. And that does not surprise me now, but how about the quality of these 10 finalists? These are the true war horses. I call them the titans of trotting. Their combined earnings, these 10 horses, over $17 million. They've given their owners 203 wins and trips to the winner's circle. Circle. Amongst them, four Breeders' Crown winners, four Maple Leaf Trot winners, a Hambletonian champion, and a Yonkers Trot winner. And Savruga, number 10, who won it last year, 50 to 1, currently on the odds board. Let's welcome in the third member of our broadcast team, Justin Horowitz. Justin. Thanks, Gary. I'm down here with Yannick Jingra, who's set up to have a huge day, possibly. He could win all three of our races you're going to see. It starts off with Archangel, who's going to be the second choice behind Sebastian K. How are you going to try to beat this super horse from Sweden? Well, I mean, ideally, I'd like to, um, to cut them all and have him on my back. You know, I mean, that'd be the ideal scenario. But, you know, he does have the rail, and he's got a lot of gate speed. So, um, you know, we'll see what he does in the first turn. Now, you've got Lifetime Pursuit in the Oaks, who has a chance to pull off the upset. What do you make of her chances? I mean, I think she's got a, a really good chance. You know, the, the the trip really hasn't set up for her the last you know, few weeks, and I think she's sitting on a good mile. You know, I mean, I don't think she can do a lot of the you no know, the, the the big work, but uh, if you no, know, if she trips out and get lucky, I think she uh, she can get a real big piece. And then it all wraps up with Father Patrick, his 15 race winning streak, drew the 10 hole, but still, this is a super horse. Is there any reason why this horse won't win? Well, tr road trouble. You know, what I mean, I think uh, th that's the one thing that can get him beat. I think he's uh, he's the best horse in the race. Post position is definitely not ideal, but uh, you know, I mean, if there's any horse in the race that can get it done, it's definitely him. Yannick Jingra has wrapped up his third straight Meadowlands driving title and could have a big pre-birthday celebration. He turns 35 on Monday. Guys. Happy birthday, Yannick. A bit early, but nonetheless. We'll be back with the field for the John Cashman Jr. Memorial right after this. He's full of compromises, but not here. Not on this day, not in this race, not in this day. Every bet is a hope. Return on investment comes in seconds. This is Harness Racing. We welcome you to the Harness Racing Fan Zone. See it all for yourself. Feel it in all the passion. Share that experience with others. The Harness Racing Fan Zone puts you in the driver's seat. So good. Um, what's happening over there? Corn! Oh, yeah, that's the X4 Platinum, the world's most social grill. Social grill? Did he just take a selfie? Oh, yeah. Send photo. Watch, she's gonna light it with an app. Oh. 
gas. Yeah. Kebab, one serving. Get off your gas and grill with Kingsford Charcoal. Jim's hair is perfect. So is his serve. But like up to 90% of us, Jim falls short in getting important nutrients from food alone. Jim, here's $2 off one-a-day multivitamins to get key nutrients you may need. Go to oneaday.com for savings. After a long day of doing man stuff, me and the fellas trust new dial for men power scrub. To give us a clean, we can be proud. Over-engineered with unstoppable orange oil and micro scrubbers. It leaves us honkingly gorgeous. Dial for men, proudly over-engineered. Admit it, you never thought you'd see this day. The day you could walk without shooting pain in your back. All because you took the first step and had surgery at Laser Spine Institute. The experts in outpatient minimally invasive neck and back surgery. All it takes is an incision less than one inch and you'll be up and walking within a few hours of surgery and there is no lengthy recovery. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, bulging or herniated disc, sciatica or other chronic conditions, call today for a free MRI review. I woke up in recovery and there was absolutely no pain at all. It's amazing. Now I can get on the bike, I can go anywhere. Laser Spine Institute gave me my life back. I'm still going strong today because of them. If you've been told you might need neck or back surgery, call 1-855-587-STEP for a free MRI review. Go from a life of pain to a lifetime of living. Laser Spine Institute, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. The 2014 Hamiltonian on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Hanover Shoe Farms. Hanover, the greatest name in harness racing. By the Hamiltonian Society, supporting and encouraging the breeding of standard bred horses for over 90 years. And by Judge Unified Communications, a turnkey provider of voice and video. Welcome back to the New Meadowlands Racetrack in East Rutherford, New Jersey on Hambletonian Day. Current odds for the Cashman, one of the deepest fields in years, horses on the track. And we are looking at those odds with Sebastian K not budging from one to five and market share at 14 to one. Who would have believed that? Unbelievable is right. He has been overshadowed so far this year by Sebastian K, but market share is a two time Dan Patch champion. He he made over a million last year uh, on the track. There is a look at the world record holder, Sebastian K. He was 2012 Horse of the Year in Sweden. He is the stable star for Oka Svonsted, who came over from his homeland and so far has made people sit up and take notice. Now we are going to take notice of his world record performance at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs. And this was called the Sun Invitational on June 28th. And what makes this race so special, Gary, as this is the fastest trotting mile in the history of harness racing. Sebastian K will draw clear there and stop the teletimer in 149 flat. His rival, Archangel, had stalked him until the final turn when he made a break. Are we going to see that? kind of a performance today we'll find out another look at Sebastian K and his trainer driver Opus Vonstead look at our Archangel you know this is interesting Dave because listening to Yannick Jingra after this race he said that Archangel had a lot of trot at the top of the stretch in that world record performance that we just saw but he kind of over trotted and made a break he said he hadn't even pulled the earplugs and when you pull the earplugs horses tend to you know pick up a little bit of speed there as well and he said that Oka was already driving on Sebastian K this horse again set the world record on a mile track at 150 last week here at the Meadowlands. He says, I don't think we've seen the bottom of him yet. And he really rolled him last week. That was the quote from Yannick Shingra. He goes to the gate for the sport's leading conditioner in Ron Burke, Archangel, a Yonkers trot champion, and the only other horse to win a Yonkers trot and then win the Cashman, that was Mac Lobel. Yeah, Archangel didn't race last year. He was performing stallion duty. And there's a look at market share. He's got an outside post position. It's going to be a difficult assignment. Tim Tietrich, who won the Hamiltonian with this horse a couple of years ago in 2012, is back aboard. And market share, you know, still a very, very top trotter, but I don't know if he's a, a match for 
uh, Sebastian Kidd. Well, I still remember the Cinderella story of us broadcasting the Hamiltonian two years ago. He was just an $18,000 yearling purchase for owners Richard Gutnick, Tom and Lou Pontone, and Bill Augustine. He's really been up against it, chasing Sebastian K. And you mentioned it right off the top. The outside post is really to his detriment in this spot. It's going to take Tim Tietrick a lot of work just to get him in position to see whether he can keep up with Sebastian K. All right, let's go over to Justin Horowitz for this report. Justin. Hey guys, you know, we had some overnight heavy rain, which uh, looked to maybe threaten the fast track that we have today, but the track is fast. And to that note, I spoke with Ocas Fonstead, the trainer of Sebastian K. He told me the horse warmed up great, and he's going to race again barefoot today, as he has in all of his North American starts. One note today, this is the first time that Sebastian K has had to race four weeks in a row, and two of those races in this streak required ships from his New Jersey base up to Canada and back. This week, Ocas Fonstead told me that the horse just took it easy in his paddock no major training and he's feeling good today and also Linda Toscano told me she thinks it's a very tall task for her former Hamiltonian champ market chair but she's hoping that Tim Tietrich can follow along the speed duel and hopefully pick him up down the lane guys back to you all right Justin and we caught a quick shot there of Hall of Famer John Campbell he is aboard Mr. Herbie who has finished second in this race the last two years Canadian inv invader you know still holding his form at age six certainly could be a factor in here depending upon how the race unfolds and that's due to the good work of his uh, American trainer Mark Ford when he's up in Canada he's trained uh, co-owned but and trained by Jeff Gillis uh, Mr. Herbie, his record over the last two years, though, Gary, just one win in 17 starts. So I'm not sure he's necessarily a win candidate, but he might be a live long shot if you were playing uh, exactas or triples. A look at Intimidate. He won the Breeders' Crown for three-year-old trotters in a bit of an upset. And speaking of upsets, when Sebastian K went to Canada for the Maple Leaf trot on a really off track, a very sloppy track, the upsetter in a huge mile was Intimidate. And that was the only blemish on Sebastian K's North American record. Intimidate charged home for his Canadian driver, Sylvain Fillion, and they got up by a nose at the wire at, how about this, odds of 47 to 1. Intimidate is definitely a horse with a lot of class, but again, we've got that post position problem. He's best as a rallier from behind and off the pace. We'll see whether Ron Pierce can have him in position to, you know, launch a charge. And Ron Pierce, the second winningest driver money-wise in the sport at over $200 million. Only John Campbell has made more. And speaking of Oka Svonsted, 56-year-old who relocated from his native Sweden in the fall of last year and set up shop, a training uh, center, if you will, in Vero Beach, Florida, has really made a very quick impression on uh, a, a North American horseman. Uh, uh, definitely quite a splash has Okas Vonstead made, and it's a good story behind this eight-year-old. He's owned by brothers Tristan Soberg and Michael Knudsen. They operate a gaming company in Sweden and Singapore. They and their father have been in the harness racing business for 50 years here. Sebastian Kay, you know, when, when Okas Vonstead said he was coming to the U.S., the owners had to think about it for a couple of months as to whether they wanted the horse to go with Svonsted. They made the right choice, in my opinion, and the horse has flourished here in North America. And now Archangel on the board at five to one a clear second choice in the field Dave quickly before we get to this race we had some pretty significant rain overnight into the morning hours but we also had a very significant wind and breeze as well which makes it a drying out track which often can be a very very fast track what kind of times should we expect to see in our races today well I would make the under over right here at 150 flat uh, Sebastian K you know is more than capable of that he's gone faster on a smaller size oval so I think we're in for a, a pretty special performance today and you're right we've got a very fast track the sun just went in behind a couple of clouds so I'm ready I know you're ready and I know another guy that's ready yeah a longtime friend one of the greatest track announcers in the sport today and the voice of the Hamiltonian here at the Meadowlands he'll call his 15th Hamiltonian later today let's welcome in our good friend track announcer Ken Warkington Kenny how are you Real good, guys, and uh, it's been a magnificent day as far as the weather goes and the track condition. We've had uh, a couple of world records, some track records as well, so uh, they're just getting uh, set to go here for the uh, Cashman. So we'll turn around and call the race, guys. It's post time for the John Cashman Jr. Memorial Final. The starter has called. The preferred equine starting gate is rolling for race 11. 
for $300,650. The odds on choice here, one to two, Sebastian K, the world's fastest trotter. Uh, far back and off stride here is Sabruga, last year's winner. Nine to two on Archangel off that 150 world record performance here. Here they come for the John Cashman Jr. Memorial. Off and trotting in market shares, trying to blast from the front side, but Archangel out sprints them, and Sebastian K steps out sharply from the rail as expected, so the battle's on early here. Archangel and Yannick Jingra establishing command early. Sebastian K back in the second spot as they head to the opening quarter. So market share after the quick start was pretty good. Got away in third. Gap at 2-3 to your soul vein is fourth. And going up there is Mr. Herbie from fifth, followed by Arch Madness, the $4 million trotter sixth, or fifth rather, or sixth down the backstretch. Then comes Uncle Peter, followed by Appomattox and Intimidate. After an early miscue, Sabruga is the trailer. It was a pretty quick opening quarter, 26-2. and two. So Jingra looks to grab in here and ration out speed with Archangel. Archangel one. 50 world champion on top Sebastian K the world's fastest trotter at 149 in second so market share Hamiltonian hero is third off stride there went your so vain taken safely to the inside Mr. Herbie and Campbell gets flushed to the outside by Uncle Peter goes up fifth on the outside off a half of 54 and four fifths and they race to the far turn Arch Madness now pinned in on the rail up into the flow goes intimidate and pulling pocket now Okay, Spahn's dead, and Sebastian K gets the cue to come up after Archangel. Archangel and Sebastian K on the outside. It's the battle we've been waiting for. Campbell looms large on the outside with Mr. Herbie. He's stride for stride, third. Market share on the inside, fourth. Their heads apart, stride for stride, turning for home in the Cashman. 122 and four fifths. They're in the stretch drive. Sebastian K grabs the track here, draws clear. Sebastian K, another powerhouse performance. He's a trotting dynamo, and he's gone. Archangel, market share in the battle for second. Sebastian K in the Cashman. He dominates in 150 and equals the world record. Then market share. Archangel, close for fourth. Enough said, Dave Brower. Sebastian K, after his loss in the Maple Leaf Trot on an off track, returns to the winner's circle in the biggest of ways. Not only does he hold the world record for the fastest trotting mile of 149, but he has just equaled the fastest trotting mile on a mile track set by Archangel last week of 150 flat. He is well on his way to Horse of the Year honors, unless, of course, Father Patrick has something to say about that. And this may actually be his easiest win yet, Gary. We picked things up uh, early on in the race, and that's Archangel and Yannick Jingra who have secured the front and Yannick is being coy here he knows he's got to go on and go a little bit faster to keep Sebastian K inside but the way they race in Europe they're not afraid to pull that pocket early uh, Oka Svonsted comes to the outside he engages Archangel while still under a pretty tight hold at this point and as the field turns for home you can see he is taking charge and he is eventually going to draw clear once he asks for more speed this is an overwhelming powerhouse devastating performance and that's pretty much exactly what we've seen from this amazing eight-year-old Swedish bred since he arrived on our shores. And take a look, just some mild urging here. It basically, Svonsted wrapped up as he knew that Sebastian K was home free. Svonsted, five-time trainer of the year and three-time driver of the year in his native Sweden, once again making a big mark here in North American harness racing. And look at him as he comes back to the winner's circle. Gary, he looks wonderful. He looks like he could almost go around and do it again. He did pop the earplugs. Those are the things you see hanging outside the horse's head. They were, came to the United States uh, with the goal of setting a world record. Well, they've equaled it here today, at least on a mile track. Still not quite the performance that he offered over at Pocono Downs. So Sebastian Kay takes our first big race on Hamiltonian Day, the $300,000 John Cashman Jr. Memorial. We'll have the results and more when we, we return. Starts here. Thursday night football on CBS and NFL Network. And that's our shot. Let's go see this thing. What a catch. Look at him for the touchdown. Yes. We get your weekend started every Thursday night. How about that? We play for each other. Don't let up, guys. Let's go. Football starts here. Great things, great things happen on Thursday night.
With the horses that Brittany Farms has been breeding, raising, and selling, we think it's time to blow our own horn as this year's yearling crop steps into the sales ring. Brittany's recent sale graduates include Champion's Father Patrick, He's Watching, and Luck Be With You. Visit BrittFarms.com for our 24... I'm a totally different man. You can do one thing only, incline training is it. It eliminated that fat. Just get up and walk. You want to change your life, then you need to step up to the X9 from Nordic Track. What makes the X9 the best calorie burning machine on the planet? Incline. Going up, now you're burning twice the calories. You want more? Take it all the way to 40% incline for five times the calorie burn. The X9 is one of the fastest ways ever to burn calories. And all you have to do is walk. Plus, the X9 comes with iFit, powered by Google Maps, so you can work out anywhere. Burn fat jogging on the beaches of Fiji. Shed pounds hiking the Swiss Alps. With iFit, the X9 automatically adjusts, so your workout follows the terrain. You can most definitely shed calories and burn fat. You can just walk the calories off. Get this amazing machine for zero down and free shipping, $150 value. To order, call 1-800-310-0501 or go online today. Hearts, they get all the love. What about me, the liver? When you overindulge, I clean you up. If that's not love, what is? Love your liver with Liverite Liverade, the natural dietary supplement that aids and supports liver function. Impurities in your liver can make you feel sluggish. Liverite's unique formula cleanses your liver from impurities in your diet and environment so you can have better energy, better quality of life. Love your liver with Liverite. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. To a better mortgage. And welcome back to the New Meadowlands state-of-the-art facility, a beautiful structure here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and a beautiful trotter in the form of Sebastian K. Dave, they don't usually race on a weekly basis in Europe, but he has put up with the rigors of North American harness racing. And you heard Justin Horowitz's report about him racing four weeks in a row. Well, here's the plans for the future on the winner that paid just $2.60 at odds of 1 to 5. He's going to get a break, according to his connections and owners. They expect Sebastian K to show up next at Vernon Downs for the Crawford Farms Trot, then on to Hoosier Park, potentially the Red Mile in September or in October for the Alleridge, maybe the American National Illinois. The, the ending result, the thing they want to win is the TVG Championship right here at the Meadowlands in November. The Hambletonian coming up later today. It's the feature on our program. Want more harness racing? You're invited to visit the new Harness Racing Fan Zone where fans can share, connect, and play at HarnessRacingFanZone.com. See what photos and stories other fans are talking about, share your own stories, and get the latest news, get insider news, and access to events and promotions from all of your local racetracks. And you can follow your harness racing favorites at these sites. Hambletonian for a million dollars is the showcase event in the sport. Not only do you win that really neat trophy, Dave, <laughs> but your stock certainly rises. Whether you were a leading contender to win the Hambletonian or not, if you do, certainly uh, you, your stock rises in the sport. Without question, and then you have a future career. If you're a Hamiltonian winner and a stallion, you move on to stud duty, which is what Sebastian Kay, who just won the Cashman, may do next year, in addition to racing. So that's something to look forward to for him. And we've got the half-million dollar Hamiltonian Oaks for the Phillies coming up. This is why you get into the sport of harness racing, Gary, to win one of these classic races. 43 third edition of the Hamiltonian Oaks started in 1971 designed to be currently a 3 to 1 and she was 2 to 1 on the morning line so she is up a bit the second of Julie Miller's three pronged attack in here CB yes is at uh, 44 to 1 uh, although Julia said that she is her sleeper so if the pace scenario unfolds where things kind of fall apart for some of the others she could pick up the pieces and then uh, some others in here as we take a look shake it carry are you surprised <laughs> by the price at shake it carry at eight to one i'm actually absolutely shocked by this first look at the current odds here shake it carry was the second choice at uh, five to two the one taking all the money is harley mama one of jim raymer's two fillies she was fourth in the uh, oaks prep last week i don't know that's too short of a price well, as we said, Julie Miller looking to become the first female trainer to win the Hamiltonian Oaks. Justin Horowitz spoke with her yesterday.
I'm here with uh, trainer Julie Miller, who has three horses coming in the Hamiltonian Oaks. And uh, first, just want to ask you, um, what do you think about being in the Oaks and having not one, not two, but three horses? Oh, you know, it's very exciting just to have one eligible, but three, I mean, it's just uh, a dream come true. Was there any point when these horses were training individually at some point where you thought all of them or any of them would be good enough to race in this, in this race? Well, you know what? As two-year-olds, I really did think that they had a chance as three-year-olds to be in this race. But, you know, you have a lot a lot going on. You're training them down. You know, you hope they're going to be fit and healthy. And, you know, I'm really fortunate they're all coming into form right at the right time. So having three horses in this race, um, how do you divide up your time? How do you make sure that all three of your charges are as well prepared as they could be on Saturday? You know what, that's where I'm fortunate again. Um, it's T. Miller for a reason. I have a great staff, great employees that have been with me for years, two assistant trainers, and it's a team effort. We're going to get the three on the track and, and perform the best we can and, and hope for a great day. Now, if you were to win the Oaks, you'd be the first female trainer to win the Oaks, which is uh, a very prestigious uh, honor for you. Have you thought about that? Does that uh, matter to you? How, how do you kind of uh, approach that? Well, obviously, you want to win every race, but, you know, the Oaks and the Hamiltonian, you know, are the, are the cream of the crop out here. I mean, I'd be, I'd be tickled to death and very proud. Well, Jimmy Tactor has two in here. He's always lurking in trotting races and even pacing races these days. Julie Miller, though, with the three-pronged attack. We'll come back with the Hambletonian Oaks Post Parade from the Hambletonian. The Little Brown Jug in Delaware, Ohio is harness racing at its best. One of the sport's biggest events in a laid-back county fair atmosphere of fast times, great racing, and emotional victories. Take in the great tradition of the Little Brown Jug brought to you by Fazoli's on Thursday, September 18th. For tickets and more info, log on to littlebrownjug.com or watch the telecast live on CBS Sports Network at 5 p.m. Eastern. The Little Brown Jug, be there. Michelle and Albert Crawford welcome you to Crawford Farms. Crawford Farms is a rapidly expanding breeding operation that is ready to make some big noise in New York and beyond. Crawford Farms will sell 18 well-bred yearlings in 2014, including a Western Terror, three-quarter brother to a rock and roll dance. Crawford Farms also has several yearlings by American Ideal, Credit Winner, Lucky Tucky, and more. Be sure to visit Crawford Farms at the Lexington and Morrisville sales. From the very start, I wanted FitCore to be different. If you come to me, it's it's because you want to do what I do because I don't do what other people do. It's kind of like creating a brand for myself. Your business is unique. Your marketing should be too. With Vistaprint, it will be. Put your personal touch on 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. Just enter promo code TV500 at Vistaprint.com. Stay true to yourself. You can do this how you want to do it, and somebody else is going to think that's awesome and want to do it that way too. Vistaprint.com. Hands and Dan. If you're anything like me, you know how embarrassing pimples can be. Ooh, you just want them gone. But getting rid of them just got a whole lot easier. Now you can easily clear breakouts in one simple step. From the makers of Proactive comes X-Out, your acne solution in just one step. Who says treating acne has to be so difficult? X-Out just made it one step simple. X-Out is all-in-one, which is so convenient, and my face looks great. <laughs> X-Out is the first ever wash-in acne treatment, which means that even after you rinse, advanced medicine stays behind to fight pimples all day long. And you can feel it working with a blast of icy cool. Like... Magic in a little bottle. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you won't get X out at any store, so go to xout.com now and get a free gift plus free shipping for a limited time. If you want clear and seriously good looking skin, this is your answer. Wash in X out. Would you consider a four star hotel that's up to 60% off? Just can't know the name. Just no name? Until you book. Um, yeah, I do that. Welcome back to the Meadowlands in New Jersey. 
You're looking at MetLife Stadium where the Giants and Jets play. And just to the right, it's the old Meadowlands, which opened in 1976. And Dave, I guess today we're at the new and improved Meadowlands. Again, it's a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. It sure is. And we are now ready for the uh, post parade here for the half-million-dollar Hamiltonian Oaks. These are some great fillies about to enter the track. And let's start with the one designed to be this world champion filly by 2007 Hamiltonian winner and horse of the year, Donato Hanover, represents the best of three entered by Julie Miller. And she was made the uh, favorite despite two straight losses to Shake It Carry. The filly suffered from traffic trouble in those two starts, and driver Brian Sears is looking forward to giving Carry all she can handle. Brian has won the Oaks twice, and both years went on to capture the Hamiltonian as well. Number two, CBS, the second entrant for Julie Miller, who has said that this filly is her sleeper and could pick up the pieces if the top ones falter. Miller's nephew, D driver Marcus Miller, makes his Hamiltonian day debut in this year's Oaks. And what a thrill it must be for him. This is his first full season driving at the Meadowlands. He's got a big chance to make a major impact. Number three, Vanity Matters, long shot. She finished sixth in her Hambo Oaks prep race last week and has just two wins and 17 career starts. And here's another first-time Oaks driver, 25-year-old Canadian Scott. Scott Zeron. He also drives full time here at the Meadowlands and he's caught the place by storm. He's no stranger to big wins. He captured the little brown jug with Michael's power. Number four, Harley Mama, one of two fillies in today's Oaks for trainer Jim Raymer. She was sidelined earlier this year with quarter cracks in both front feet, but she's better now. And she's overcome those as well. This is Raymer's first appearance in the Oaks and on we roll. Number five, take the money. The third Julie Miller trained Philly in the Oaks has been first or second in 10 of 11 starts this year. And Hall of Famer Dave Pallone will drive. He's a Hall of Famer just like you, Gary. She's missed the board only once in her 12 race career, and she comes off a gutsy win in the Reynolds two weeks ago here. Uh, and this one, a personal angle for you. The six, tweet me. Her <laughs> sire and overhaul was the three to five favorite in the 2002 Hamiltonian, but made a break in the final and finished last. And she tweets for the longtime team of trainer Don Swick and owner Royal wire products that's bill pashina swig also trains thoroughbreds number seven lifetime pursuit owner breeder Brittany farms has owned and or bred four oaks winners to date this filly is one of two in here for trainer jimmy tactor she was a six-time winner last year or two but has not approached that kind of form yet at three the post position gods did not help her or father patrick for this combination she'll need to get lucky to win Number eight, Heaven's Door, New Jersey Sire Stakes champion this season, and a good second to Oaks contender Shake It Carry in the Dell Miller Memorial in mid July. She's sired by Hamiltonian champion Muscle Hill and was privately purchased after her two year old season by Rune Anderson's Melby Guard. He is a Swedish industrialist. She did not race in last week's prep. Number nine, Cooler Schooner. She was scratched sick last week from the Oaks prep race and has had some issues this season, but she was a world champion at age two. Cooler Schooner does it for the connections of Jules Siegel Fashion Farms. This is a homebred daughter of their champion, Broadway Hall. She's the wild card in here, Gary. If she trots and gets to the front, she can go very fast. She set a world record last year at age two, 151 and three. That looks a little worked up there. The 10 Nitro Nittany, a $22,000 yearling purchase, was at two solid and consistent racing season and has banked over $154,000. And this is Jim Raymer, Raymer's other filly. She's an eight-time winner from 15 starts. It's the first Hamiltonian Oaks for both Raymer and driver Howard Parker. They've got a tall order here. And the 11, Shake It Carry, this world champion from the Jimmy Tactor Stable, has won 14 of 18 lifetime and has been worse than third only once. And she lines up in the second tier right behind her biggest threat. She's the Dan Patch champion two-year-old from last year, winner of the Mary Annabelle on Hamiltonian Day 2013. She is the only millionaire in here for Tactor and Pierce, and they've won the Oaks together twice. So a look at the field for this year's Hambletonian Oaks. These horses have met before, Dave, and most recently in the Dell Miller Memorial, which is the final major prep for the Hambletonian Oaks. And, you know, we talked about uh, Julie's horse having some traffic troubles. It almost seems like it was really kind of a game of cat and mouse, if you will. It was, and that's why these drivers get paid the big bucks, Gary. Here we are on the first turn, and Shake It Carry was used hard, three wide to get to the front. But once she got there, she relaxed for her pilot, Ron Pierce. This was three weeks ago on July 12th. The final time of this mile, 153 flat. You see Pierce coaxing Shake It Carry home. Heaven's Door will follow her home in second, and that traffic trouble, there's the late first from design to be. And a look at Shake It Carry out on the racetrack for Hall of Famer Ron Pierce, designed to be. We'll start from the inside post for trainer Julie Miller. 
and driver Brian Sears. And there's a look at that three-year-old daughter of Donato Hanover. Kind of lightly raced this year, just four starts, but has not been worse than third. And Brian Sears looks to make it back to back Oaks. Of course, he captured this last year with the eventual harness horse of the year. That was be a magician. And that snapped a six-year skid, Gary, of losing favorites in the Hamiltonian Oaks. Can't wait to see what happens today. And a look at the nine cooler schooner for trainer Jim Campbell and driver John Campbell. They teamed up to win the 1995 Hamiltonian with Taglia Boo. All right, time for us to head over to Justin Horowitz for more. Justin. Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Jim Campbell, the trainer of Cooler Schooner. Now, she scratched sick last week in her prep for this. How much are you concerned about her health and fitness going into this race today? She had a good week all this week. Uh, if we would have tried to race her last week, it probably would have uh, put us out of racing today, and we didn't want to take that chance. Um, but, you know, so far she had a really good week, and, uh, you know, we're hoping for the best today. Now, last year she was a world champion. This year she hasn't won a race yet. Why hasn't she been able to rem remake that form from last year? Last year? Because, you know, we were a little bit, and, and she did a good job. She sat in the two-hole a couple times, and uh, they just sprinted home, and, you know, she finished second twice. Uh, she just couldn't out-sprint the leader, and that's not her type of racing. You know, her type of racing is better when she's out and going, and um, she's been just more a victim of uh, circumstance than anything else. Well, hopefully your brother John can get her in the right direction today and do her older sister proud 2009 Oaks winner Broadway Schooner. Guys? John Campbell behind Cooler Schooner. He's won this race twice before. Brother Jim has won it once. We'll take a break and come back with the Hambletonian Oaks. This is how I keep my seven feet cool and my two feet cool. Foot spray, baby. <laughs> New Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray. Cools and dries your feet just like our body powder spray refreshes your body. Stay cool with Gold Bond. As the host of a popular home improvement show, I know a lot about finding a great contractor for home repairs and improvement projects. Now there's HomeAdvisor.com, a free service that matches your project to top local service professionals. We got everything from HomeAdvisor, electricians, plumbers, handymen. We've had nothing but fabulous every single time. HomeAdvisor conducts criminal and financial background checks on their service professionals. Knowing that they have had the background checks and that they're vetted absolutely gives me a sense of security. You can read customer reviews of the pros, even use their cost guide to find out what hundreds of other repair and improvement projects cost in your area. Home Advisor is a, a total solution to any type of work you would ever want to do around your house. It's fast, easy, and free. It is completely, 100% free, free, free. Home Advisor is the nation's number one network of screened and rated home improvement professionals. Their patented ProFinder technology matches you with top pros, then lets you pick the one you think works best. Fred and Son Plumbing was awesome. Was there within about four hours and did it right. Incredibly reasonably priced. We found the perfect person through them and we've continued to find perfect people for them. We didn't have to do any work other than say what we needed and poof, you know, it was like they appeared. Find out why over 25 million homeowners have used HomeAdvisor. HomeAdvisor means that I'm the hero. Every time there's a problem with my house, I can solve that problem with one website. They even have 24-7 support in case you have a home repair emergency. It doesn't matter what day it is or time it is, they'll be there for you. Home Advisor isn't just a list. With just a few clicks, you're matched to service pros for exactly the type of work that you need done. And Home Advisor is always free to use. Go to homeadvisor.com forward slash start now to get started today. Home Advisor. We checked, we checked into, into our, our hotel, hotel in Paris, and, and our, our luggage was immediately, immediately taken to stolen our from our room. The hotel, hotel manager was clearly behind it. it. He, he was, was such a kind man. Con man. My, My husband, husband wanted to hug him. strangle him. And to Until this day, day we're still in contact with the, with the police. I, I wish we could do that vacation all over again. again. Don't just visit Paris. Visit TripAdvisor Paris. With millions of reviews, a visit to TripAdvisor makes any destination better. I think the biggest value of TrueCar was that it gave me, you know, confidence to buy my very first car and to walk out of that dealership and know that I got a good deal. Save time, save money, and never overpay. Visit TrueCar.com. 
The 2014 Hamiltonian on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by the new Meadowlands Racetrack. This isn't your father's racetrack. Visit PlayMeadowlands.com. By HarnessRacingFanZone.com. The place for harness racing fans to see, share, connect, and play. And by White Birch Farm. Setting the bar for standard bread facilities. Welcome back to the Meadowlands Racetrack, the new Meadowlands on Hambletonian Day. And Dave, even though the building's new, the feel is the same. It is electric. And now the Meadowlands is the venue that has hosted this event longest of anybody. And there have been several venues over the years since 1926 that have hosted the Hambletonian, but the Meadowlands now the leader since 1981 and let's take a look at the current odds here for the $500,000 Hamiltonian Oaks and now they're a little bit more in line the morning line favorite designed to be is now the current favorite at odds of eight to five her arch rival shake it carry who will start in line behind her is now five to two that's still pretty good price on her heaven's door up there at six to one for the Svonstadt connections Jimmy Tactor and Yannick Jingra they've got lifetime pursuit at eight to one and the filly that was the favorite early Harley mama for trainer Jim Raymer, she's drifted up to five, and I still think that's a little too low. Yeah, I would agree with that. Harley Mama, one of two in here for trainer Jim Raymer, the other being Nitro Nittany. And uh, Jim had really been pointing these horses to this race all along, saying that, you know, he doesn't think these Phillies have too many 152 miles in them. And he's hoping that, uh, you know, his horses being as fresh as they are can certainly get the job done. Well, he's hoping. He was quoted as saying he thinks they can trot right around 152. We're going to find out today as they go to the gate here. And Gary, you've got a little update on the Harness Racing Fan Zone? I sure do. It's a way that Harness Racing fans can get even closer closer to the action by joining the ambassador program at harnessracingambassadors.com. Join right now to share your passion with others, get insider access and earn rewards. And don't forget to join the conversation on the Hambletonian at hashtag Hambo14. All right, we are all set for the 2014 edition of the Hambletonian Oaks field of 11 three-year-old Philly trotters lining up behind the gate. Once again, we send you upstairs at the new Meadowlands to track announcer Ken Warkington. All right, guys, it's post time for race 12, the Hambletonian Oaks for a half million dollars. Preferred equine starting gate is rolling. Designed to be world champion at two and three. It's six to five here, second choice. Five to two, shake it carry in that second tier. She'll have the second tier start and uh, on a break here is CBS, far back and off stride CBS. They're on gate, three-year-old Philly Trotters. The $500,000 Hambletonian Oaks. And they're off and trotting. A lifetime pursuit gets the first call. Take the monies away fast. Designed to be not in a hurry, but steps out enough to get into third around the first turn. From the inside, Shake It Carry got off to a good fourth place right now. From that second tier, three watt is Heaven's Door going up on the outside from fifth cut. Three watt is Shake It Carry goes up. Vanity Matters settles in sixth now as they race past the quarter. Cooler Schooner goes up on the outside for Campbell, followed by Harley Mama on the inside. Then it's Nitro Nittany and Tweet Me far back after the break. CBS the distant trailer. Hot quarter, 26 and three. And after lifetime pursuit, cut it. Here comes Shake It Carey. Shake It Carey takes the lead now, establishes a length lead with Ron Pierce in the Hambletonian Oaks down the back stretch. Lifetime pursuit in the second spot. Okay, Svonstead with Heaven's Door comes calling on the outside third, second and gaining and applying pressure now. Designed to be picks up that live cover and tracks it fourth off a half a rated 55 and one fifth. Take the money is now shoveled a fifth on the inside, but she's gapping anyway. Cooler Schooner to the outside, third over right now. Then Vanity Matters on the inside as they head to three quarters. That one is uh, stride for stride uh, with uh, as they pass three quarters on the outside Nitro Nittany is being tracked there by Tweet Me at the back of the pack and pinned in is Harley Mama over at three quarters and it's Shake It Carry the one to knock off Shake It Carry Heaven's Door first over to challenge lifetime pursuit needs to shake loose from second three quarters 123 and two in the stretch drive it's a well rated Shake It Carry but ripping out of the pocket lifetime pursuit Yannick Shingra 
Cuts are loose now. And here comes lifetime pursuit. Up and after shake it carry, who is all out. Then it's take the money and designed to be Yannick Jingra with a grand slam today. Lifetime pursuit in the Hamiltonian Oaks. Then designed to be take the money was third. Shake it carry fourth. 150 and four fifths. That is a world record performance. We were all keeping our eyes on the pace setter there. Shake it, carry the world champion with Ron Pierce, who pops out of the pocket. The other Tactor trainee <laughs> in lifetime pursuit. What this does, Dave, is set Jimmy Tactor up to become just the second trainer in history to win the Hamiltonian Oaks and the Hamiltonian in the same day Jan Janssen did it in 1988 with Armbro Gold winning the Hamiltonian and Nans Catch, who was later on the dam of two-time Horse of the Year moneymaker in the Hamiltonian Oaks. And Gary, let's go right to the replay here. Yannick Jingra was very aggressive out of the gate. He offered good speed here with lifetime pursuit from post seven. A couple other little levers here, but tactics usually play a great role. And you want to know why good trainers hire great drivers? Jimmy Tactor and Yannick Jingra steers like this. Look at Ron Pierce with the other Tactor Philly. He's going to squeeze out right there to ensure a clear brush to the front. He's going to go right by Lifetime Pursuit. And now the Tactor duo, in this case, are in prime position. But this time, the roles will be reversed. And Lifetime Pursuit is the one that will pop out of the pocket at the top of the stretch and just explode home. And another look yep. with Shake It Carey on the lead here. Ron Pierce figuring the best spot to be. She got away fine from the second tier. Fourth took command, but Yannick Jingra was in the perfect spot, drafted behind her, and that is so much a key in harness racing as some of the other horses were not able to keep up, and the first over horses also, in fact, tiring out down the lane, but Yannick, man, what a day this can be for him. And it's just starting, and what a performance by Lifetime Pursuit. We have to mention the final time of the uh, Hamiltonian Oaks here, 150 and 4. That's a world record for a mile track, and it obliterates the Hamiltonian Oaks stakes record by one full second that had belonged to be a magician from last year 2013 guess what new stakes record new world record and Hamiltonian Oaks number one for Yannick Jingra and speaking of Yannick Jingra he can now join George Brennan and Brian Sears Brennan in 2011 Sears in 2009 taking the Hamiltonian Oaks and the Hamiltonian on the same day and for owner breeder Brittany Farms well how about their fifth Oaks victory. And there is no more name more synonymous with harness racing than George Siegel and Brittany Farms. It's an extra special pleasure for them when they can breed a racing winner, a champion winner like this. Just credit to the connections all the way around. This filly was ready today, and she benefited from a picture-perfect drive. Well, in the spotlight today, obviously, is 53-year-old Hall of Famer Jimmy Tactor, who would love to win the sport's most prestigious race, but offers praise to whoever captures Hamiltonian glory. May God bless the one and win the race. That's the way it is. You're going into these races, you just hope everything, everybody get a fair shot and, uh, you know, no mishap here and uh, may the best horse win. That's, uh, that's how horse racing is. A realistic approach to a more than realistic chance of winning the sport's biggest race. We'll take a look at Jimmy Tactor's all-star lineup when we return. Birch Farm is the ultimate standard bread facility with a spacious 5 8 mile track, a sand jock track, and a straight strip and a relaxed, stress-free atmosphere. With roomy, well-ventilated barns and stalls and numerous turnout paddocks, White Birch is a horse haven for many top stables. Other amenities include an equisizer and a brand-new equine swimming pool under construction. White Birch is the breeder of Pace of the Year Captain Treacherous by your next champion from their strong consignments of the sales this fall. White Birch, the Cadillac of standard bread facilities. Harness Racing stars come alive at the Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame in Goshen, New York. Ride our exciting 3D harness race simulator. Explore the Harness Racing Museum's new exhibit, Remember Roosevelt. Touch equipment used by Hall of Famers, Del Miller, Stanley Dancer, and Billy Houghton. See memorabilia from the Hamiltonian and the Little Brown Jug. Visit our gift shop and watch horses train at Goshen Historic Track. If you like harness racing, you will love the Harness Racing Museum. Build meats. It smells so good. Um, what's happening over there? Corn! Oh yeah, that's the X4 Platinum. 
The world's most social girl. Social girl? Did he just take a selfie? Oh, yeah. Send photo. Watch, she's gonna light it with an app. Gas. Yeah. Kebab, one serving. Get off your gas and grill with Kingsford Charcoal. Jim's hair is perfect. So's his serve. But like up to 90% of us, Jim falls short in getting important nutrients from food alone. Jim, here's $2 off one-a-day multivitamins to get key nutrients you may need. Go to oneaday.com for savings. Hey, I'm Zendaya. If you're anything like me, you know how embarrassing pimples can be. Oof. You just want them gone. But getting rid of them just got a whole lot easier. Now you can easily clear breakouts in one simple step. From the makers of Proactive comes X Out, your acne solution in just one step. Who says treating acne has to be so difficult? X Out just made it one step simple. X Out is all in one, which is so convenient, and my face looks great. <laughs> X Out is the first ever wash in acne treatment, which means that even after you rinse, advanced medicine stays behind to fight pimples all day long. And you can feel it working with a blast of icy cool. Like, magic in a little bottle. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you won't get X out at any store, so go to xout.com now and get a free gift, plus free shipping for a limited time. If you want clear and seriously good looking skin, this is your answer. Wash in, X out. Don't just visit San Francisco. Visit TripAdvisor San Francisco. With millions of reviews, TripAdvisor makes any destination better. Yannick Jingra already having a great day. The Grand Slam, as Ken said, he's got four wins on the program. And this one is certainly the biggest until now, because still to come for him in the next race is Father Patrick. Lifetime pursuit, as we called her earlier, the other Jimmy Tactor three-year-old Philly Trotter, although she has accomplished quite a bit herself, Dave. $22, though, the betting public didn't feel that she could get the job done. Odds of 10 to 1 after the picture-perfect drive by Yannick Jingra. Ninth lifetime win for the daughter of Cantab Hall for the Brittany Farms. She's now earned over half a million dollars, and we can now call her a world record holder. Justin Horowitz caught up with the winning driver after the race. I'm down here with Yannick Jingra after pulling the 10 to 1 upset with Lifetime Pursuit. And Yannick, we had a good idea that maybe a Tactor Philly would win, but we weren't expecting this one. Tell us about that unbelievable trip. Dota was expected. Uh, you know, we, we've been racing her accordingly. You know, I mean, she's a, bit, a little bit of a tricky Philly. You know, the, uh, she needs a trip. You know, what I mean, in the uh, last few weeks, I tried to trip her out. The trip just wasn't working out. But like I've said earlier, I, I thought she had a really good chance. You know, I just, you know, we needed a little bit of luck on her side, and uh, thankfully today was it. Congratulations, world record for you, and now go try to win the Hamiltonian and try to be a driver for the second year in a row to win both. Congratulations, Yannick. Thank you very much. And as we said, that would make Jingra, if he captures the Hamiltonian with Father Patrick, the third driver to take the Oaks and the Hamiltonian on the same day. Let's take a look at the current odds for the 89th edition of the Hamiltonian. Resolve 44 to 1, trained by Jimmy Tactor's 33-year-old daughter, Nancy Johansson. Nuncio, one of the Tactor triumvirate at 5-2. to two. And that is not surprising. A lot of people like Nuncio to turn the tables on Father Patrick. Trixton up there at a little bit more than his morning line. He's 6-1 to one with Jimmy trying to drive a Hamiltonian winner for the first time. And Father Patrick, his morning line was 4-5, to five, and that's what he's at right now. In an already storied career, there has never been or may never be another day like this for Jimmy Tactor. He completely understands and appreciates the significance of it all. Hamiltonian Day is a big day. This is the Super Bowl in our racing. This is the day you really like to have your horse at the best, and uh, I sure have uh, great potential horses to do very well this day. For the Patrick. Well, I think he's the horse I've been really waiting for. He's just the most complete horse I, I think I've been around, and uh, just perfect. This horse ability is, uh, what, what we've seen so far is, uh, I think we just scratched the surface. That's how good horse I really think this horse is. I expect him to win this race, and uh, by Patrick losing this race, I kind of would be a little bit disappointed because 
I think he is that good right now. Nuncio, very fast, tons of ability. This year he's really come around good. He's been, uh, you know, flawless and uh, just done everything right up to this point. You know, he showed a lot of ability as a two-year-old and uh, he was uh, one of the top colts. He was the second best horse last year after Patrick and uh, actually only one that beat Patrick. Trickston, big colt, great bred horse. Uh, was not ready for too much as a two-year-old, but uh, this year he really have uh, show his uh, quality. He's very fast, high speed, good attitude, great closer. Really don't know how he stand out with these horses yet. I mean, he just faced them once, but uh, done everything right up to this point. Nuncio is more laid back than those other two guys. You know, Trickston uh, and Patrick, you know, they both are a little bit more leader type. You know, I mean, Nuncio is quiet uh, in his uh, own life, you know, but uh, both Patrick and, uh, and Trickston, you know, if they would fight physically, that would have been the top five, you know, because they are real stallions, both of those. The outside, Father Patrick almost there, Nuncio second, Team Tinter, one, two, three, Father Patrick in one, fifty-one and three. Nuncio second, Trixton third. I mean, we finished one, two, three in this standard dancer trot, that stake here leading into the Hambetonian. It's, it's something that uh, it's almost uh, impossible to do. I mean, uh, you're praying for one horse, but uh, having three really good horses like this, it's finish one, two, three would have been, uh, you go in history book series then, you know, that's something that never been done. All three of them are class enough that they, in any given year, could have been a Hamburg winner. And uh, it's, uh, but Patrick, I think, right now, stand out a little bit more than the other two. I like to stay in the winning circle if there is Nuncio, Trickston, or other Patrick. Personally, I mean, uh, I like to stand out myself with uh, Trickston. I've been second myself twice in Hambletonian as a driver, and uh, I just lost by a nose two years ago, so, uh, you know, I mean, I'm 53 years old now, and uh, I don't gonna get that many opportunity to participate with a horse like this. So I gotta try to win it. I gotta win this race. You know, I cannot worry about Nuncio, Patrick. They got great drivers. I gotta worry about my horse. I gotta win this race. This is my shot. That's how I have to go into this race. This is me. I'm gonna beat Patrick. I'm gonna beat Nuncio and the others. Jimmy Tactor and his wife Christina and their one-year-old daughter Nancy came to this country 32 years ago and have built a harness racing empire. Will he make history in the Hambletonian? Post Parade is coming up next. After six rounds of racing, the drivers of the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series have arrived at Miller Motorsports Park. The tacky dirt and tight course provides one of the most difficult tracks on the circuit. Rob McCachran catches an edge. Oh, look at this! Can the drivers in the Pro 4 and Pro Buggy class conquer the track in Tooele, Utah? Catch round seven this Sunday on CBS Sports Network. The historic Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky. Hear the echoes of champions past and the thunder of present superstars. Fantastic finishes, super sales, and the nightlife of a metropolitan area with all the amenities. The Grand Circuit at the Red Mile, September 25th through October 5th. Harness Racing's greatest tradition. Only at Fazoli's can you share a laugh with friends while enjoying an authentic Italian meal made just for you. Like our new limited time only stuffed pasta selects. Savory cheese filled pasta with roasted chicken and artichokes in our creamy new sun dried Alfredo sauce. Or try our stuffed pasta supremo with zesty Italian sausage, salami and tasty mushrooms. Or our stuffed pasta robusto. There's more to love in every bite. 
and more freshly baked breadsticks coming to your table right it's a fact Crestor lowered bad cholesterol in high-risk patients more than Lipitor bad cholesterol you're going down lowering cholesterol is a big deal especially if you have high cholesterol plus any of these risk factors because you could be at increased risk for plaque buildup in your arteries over time so when diet and exercise aren't enough to lower cholesterol adding Crestor can help I'm down with Crestor <laughs> Crestor is not right for everyone, like people with liver disease or women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Tell your doctor about other medicines you're taking. Call your doctor right away if you have muscle pain or weakness, feel unusually tired, have loss of appetite, upper belly pain, dark urine, or yellowing of skin or eyes. These could be signs of rare but serious side effects. Are you down with Crestor? Ask your doctor if Crestor could help you. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. The Government Accountability Office has released an important report regarding abuse and neglect in nursing homes. It states that 70% of state nursing homes underreported serious care problems. Broken bones, dehydration, and malnutrition may be signs of nursing home abuse or neglect. If you believe that a loved one has been a victim of nursing home abuse or neglect, Call 1-800-607-0098. That's 1-800-607-0098. <laughs> we can't help ourselves. We take you back to 1929. Why? Well, because Walter Cox had finished horses that finished one, two, three, and four, headlined by the winner that year in summary in a different Hamiltonian format, Walter Deere. And since then, there have been four Dave Brower, including three in the 90s pair, Erickson, Jimmy Tactor, and Chuck Sylvester. And that's some pretty fancy company. It started back in 1934 with Doc Parshall. The bottom two, Jimmy Tactor and Chuck Sylvester, are Hall of Famers. The goal today for Jimmy is to hit all three board spots. We'll see if he can do it. And Jimmy did it with Malabar Man and Take Chances in 1997. There is a look at Resolve. The captain, Corey Callahan, is aboard. And Nancy, 33-year-old daughter of Jimmy and Christina Tactor says that by working for her father all those years, she's taken care of a lot of great horses. So the stress isn't as much as it would be for somebody that has been. And she was the caretaker for a Hamiltonian champion in Muscle Massive. She calls herself a type A personality. Number two, J.J. Alex, trainer driver Francisco Del Cid, a former exercise rider for thoroughbred trainer D. Wayne Lucas. A bit of a surprise when his name turned up in the entry box on Tuesday. He's got just one lifetime win from 15 starts, but a recent stakes placed third convinced trainer driver Francisco Del Cid and owner Mario Mazza to take a shot. It's a long shot. Number three, Don Can Go. We saw Oka Svonsted win the Cashman with Sebastian K. This one has just one start this season, but now finds himself in the sport's biggest race. His current owners bought the son of Donato Hanover in December, and he's won his only start so far as a three-year-old. That was an overnight race here last week in 154. He'll have to go a lot faster to threaten the Tactor Trio. Number four is Datsuk. He's named after the Russian-born star of the National Hockey League's Detroit Red Wings, Pavel Datsuk. He was unraced as a two-year-old due to a muscle strain underneath his shoulder, and he's making up for lost time. And he was given that name by his breeder, Kevin Greenfield of Ohio, who loves Red Wings hockey. Pennsylvania-based veteran Charlie Norris trains and drives the Colt. Remember a couple of years ago, he had that real good trotting filly win Missy B. Number five, Nuncio, part of the three-pronged Jimmy Tactor attack on this year's Hamiltonian and the only horse to ever defeat Father Patrick. Driver John Campbell, a record six Hamiltonian wins. And that victory over Father Patrick was in July of last year, but he hasn't beaten him since. This Colt was a fast but high-strung two-year-old that was turned over to Tactor for this season. His patience and John Campbell's experience have turned him into a much more manageable racehorse. He's never been worse than second in 17 starts. Number six, Roy Royal Eyes broke his maiden in his most recent start with a sizzling 151 and 3 effort, punching his ticket to the sport's biggest race. Trainer Tron Smedshammer is known as the American Viking, but Ron Pierce will hop aboard to drive today. Royal Ice is one of three geldings in here. His sire, Muscle Hill, won the Hamiltonian. Smedshammer won it once, and Pierce has won it three times. Lots of good angles today, but no LASIK since it's not allowed in the Hamiltonian. 
Number seven, Trixton. He was a late blooming two year old has who has developed into a three year old with brilliant speed. Hall of Fame trainer Jimmy Tactor has two Hamiltonian wins and looks to become the first trainer to sweep first, second, and third in the modern era of this race. And he cost $360,000 as a yearling, the most expensive trotting colt of 2011. Co owner Burnt Angerup of Brixton Medical AB also owns a piece of Father Patrick. He enters today off a smashing win two weeks ago in the Reynolds in 150. One and four. Number eight, Il Sonio Dream, a son of Cantab Hall, the leading money winning trotting stallion in the sport the last two seasons. Aaron Merriman makes his Hamiltonian debut today, currently the leading driver in the sport this year with 452 wins. Il Sonio means dream in Italian, but his trainer Chris Beaver is originally from Ohio and now trains a lot in Canada. The sport's leading dash winner, Aaron Merriman, drove the colt to wins in two of his last three starts. This is his Hamiltonian day, uh, Hamiltonian debut today. What a thrill it must be. Number nine, Harper Blue Chip. Brian Sears looks to become the first driver in over 25 years to win back-to-back -back Hamiltonians, having won it last year with the Royalty for Life. The last guy to do that, John Campbell, who's in today's race. And trainer Mark Stacy doesn't ship without reasons. He's orchestrated some huge upsets here in the past, like stylish artists who won the Mistletoe Chalet and Breeders' Crown at big odds. He enters off a romp in the Canadian Breeders' Championship. And the star of the day, Father Patrick, unanimous choice as the sport's top two-year-old trotting colt last season. Only one career loss in 17 starts, currently on a 15-race win streak, world record holder. And if that's not enough, trainer Jimmy Tactor has called him the best horse he has ever developed, the perfect horse. He's named after the Reverend Patrick McDonald of St. Anthony of Padua Church in Heightstown, New Jersey. He was here in person this day last year to watch the colt win the Peter Houghton Memorial. He's back in person and again today, but Gary, it's all about the post. At rounding out the field and starting from the second tier, the 11 Don Dorado, the only homebred in the field, is giving his connections a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Owner breeder Mitchell Walker, trainer Bob Baggett Jr. go after their first Hamiltonian. And it would be a dream for the owner. You talk about the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don Dorado will start from the second tier, like Shake It Carry, likely behind Resolve, and that might not be a bad spot. Tim Tietrich drives in his eighth straight Hamiltonian. He won the Meadowlands Pace three weeks ago, which we brought you here on C. CBS Net Sports Network with He's Watching. So that is the field for the 89th edition of the Hamiltonian and a look at Father Patrick. Again, the star of today's program. And Father Patrick looks to join Donato Hanover and Muscle Hill as the only Peter Houghton Memorial winners to come back to win the Hamiltonian at three. Of course, the Peter Houghton is the sport's biggest race for two-year-old trotters, and he would be joining some elite company there. Now, Dave, if not Father Patrick, how about Jimmy's little girl's horse that would be his daughter nancy who trains the one resolve i think he's got a great chance to actually hit the ticketed here for the long shot players out there he was 20 to 1 on the morning line i thought he would be a little bit higher but it's all about the post here he's got speed he's got Corey callahan and we'll see uh, whether he can save ground and there is a look at resolve and a look at the current odds two to five on father patrick from post position number 10 we'll be back Love to grill, but hate the messy cleanup? Me too! Hi, Mark Gill here for the Miracle Grill Mat. It takes any grill surface and makes it completely non-stick. And it eliminates cleanup. Here's something you could never do at home. I'm going to do breakfast on my barbecue. I'm even going to add an egg. Look at that. And for a special treat, in just a second, a little bit of shredded cheese. Now, you want non-stick? That's non-stick. And I've still got my grill lines. Now, remember that special treat? Watch the egg. Right into the cheese, toast, eggs, and cheese on my Miracle Grill mat, and nothing sticks. Are you kidding me? And I never have to clean my barbecue again. Grilled vegetables are amazing, but trying to do them on an open grate is almost impossible. They all just fall through. You lose half your meal. With the Miracle Grill mat, I can grill my vegetables right beside my meat, and I never lose that great barbecue flavor. Flare-ups can ruin your meat, but with the Miracle Grill mat, there's never any flare-ups. And burnt on sauces and marinades make for a cleaning nightmare. But with the Miracle Grill mat, cleanup is a snap. If you've ever tried
tried to grill fish, you know it just flakes and falls apart. But with the Miracle Grill Mat, you get perfect fish every time. Now get your very own Miracle Grill Mat for the low, low price of only $19.95. Every grill mat comes with a five-year guarantee and is reusable thousands of times. Call or click right now, and we'll give you a second mat free. And the shipping is free. But I'm not stopping there. Call or click right now and get the Miracle Baking Mat free. Cookies slide right out of the pan. Brownies never stick, and cakes fall right out. Yep, you get it all. Two Miracle Grill Mats, the Miracle Baking Mat, the five-year guarantee, and free shipping. All for the low, low price of only $19.95. But you gotta call now. Call 1-800-544-3930. That's 1-800-544-3930. Or go to buymiraclegrillmat.com. Hey, I'm Zendaya. If you're anything like me, you know how embarrassing pimples can be. Oof. You just want them gone. But getting rid of them just got a whole lot easier. Now you can easily clear breakouts in one simple step. From the makers of Proactive comes X-Out, your acne solution in just one step. Who says treating acne has to be so difficult? X-Out just made it one step simple. X-Out is all in one, which is so convenient, and my face looks great. <laughs> X-Out is the first ever wash-in acne treatment, which means that even after you rinse, advanced medicine stays behind to fight pimples all day long. And you can feel it working with a blast of icy cool. Like... Magic in a little bottle. It's great. <laughs> you won't get X out at any store, so go to xout.com now and get a free gift, plus free shipping for a limited time. If you want clear and seriously good looking skin, this is your answer. Wash in, X out. Welcome back to the New Metal Lands in East Rutherford, New Jersey. It's Hamiltonian Day 2014. It always brings out a big crowd as we check in with current odds. And no budging on Father Patrick, despite post position number 10, 2-5. to five. No horse has ever won a Hambo final from post position number 10. You know, celebrities in that crowd, believe me, there are several of them out there, and they always show up on big days of horse racing. Earlier, Justin Horowitz caught up with one of them. Only one of the people in this interview was named one of the sexiest men alive, and as you can tell, Tim. no, no, it wasn't me, it's you, <laughs> it's Kevin Jonas, happy to be with us here at the Hamiltonian. What do you think of this beautiful new venue? Oh, it's incredible, you know, this, this, the stanchions, everything is amazing, the food, uh, the families can really enjoy themselves, it's really nice to be here. Now, you grew up in Wyckoff, which yeah. is not too far from the track, how much time have you spent around harness racing? Um, not that much, but it's something I definitely want to get more into, and especially being here, you can feel the excitement, and you can definitely see from the people around how you know into it they are, and definitely learning, which is nice. Very nice. Now you're a star. At nine to two, the seven Trixton. At five to one, the five Nuncio. So two to five, post ten, Father Patrick. They're on gate for the 2014 Hamiltonian. Here they come. Off and trotting, Datsuk is off stride. Don can go, makes a break. And Father Patrick made a break. Three breakers at the start. So it's Nuncio. And they are four deep around the first turn. J.J. Alex and resolve from the inside. And caught wide is Trixton. Fourth and gaining on the outside. J.J. Alex is now fifth. So Don Dorado from the second tier gets away in sixth. Then it's Harper Blue Chip. That one followed by Il Sonio Dream. Then the breakers. We had Datsuk far back along with Don Kingo and Father Patrick, 26 and three. A very hot quarter mile down the back stretch. Campbell in control with Nuncio. And he's holding Royal Ice at bay here. Royal Ice and Pierce. So they're mixing it up on the lead in the Hamiltonian. Resolve on the inside. Trixton now inches up a closer third on the outside. J.J. Alex is fifth. Don Dorado close up sixth. Then a gap of five lengths back to Harper Blue Chip. Il Sonio Dream. Datsuk followed by Don Kengo. And way back Father Patrick. The half. 54 seconds. It's Nuncio on the inside. And Royal Ice on the outside. Campbell and Pierce going at it. Tooth and nail in the Hamiltonian. Resolve a perfect trip so far on the inside. And sitting just off them is Tector. Three wide right now. Tector with Trixton. Here comes Trixton. But Nuncio scoots off by two. Here comes Trixton on the outside. Tactor one, two. Jimmy Tactor on the outside coming after Campbell. Nuncio, 123 in the stretch of the Hamiltonian. It's Nuncio, and here comes Trixton and Jimmy Tactor. Two Hall of Famers going at it. Campbell and Tactor, and Trixton is prevailing on the outside. Nuncio trying to battle back. A distant third is his Sonia Dream. Trixton, Jimmy Tactor, it's a Tactortonian. Trixton does it over Nuncio. And then it was Harper, 
blue chip and Elsonia Bream won 50 and 3. Trixton wins the Hamiltonian. A look at Christina Tactor, the wife of Hall of Fame trainer Jimmy Tactor. She had so many different things to be happy about. Hubby Jimmy Tactor wins the Hamiltonian as a driver for the first time. I wouldn't exactly call it bittersweet day with Father Patrick making a break in the first turn, but certainly an outcome was that was not necessarily expected. But what a day for the Tactor family, regardless. Gary, you heard it in our interview. You heard it right out of Jimmy Tactor's mouth. He said, "I will beat Nuncio and I will beat Father Tact uh, Father Patrick, and I will drive Trixt into a Hamiltonian win." Let's Let's pick it up here because we've got a lot to talk about in this replay. Right at the start, we've got three horses off stride, including the odds-on favorite, Father Patrick. Look, the gate snaps, and he just goes to running. That is the first time he's made a break in his career, so everybody else takes advantage. Nuncio in the middle of the pack. There's Trixton leaving for position. He's going to drop right into uh, the second spot there as uh, Nuncio and John Campbell have been on the lead. And a look at Jimmy Tactor at this stage of the game. The earplugs are out. You can see them alongside the head of number seven, Trixton, as he takes on Father uh, Nuncio yep. coming down the lane. Now, again, this is the second one-two finish for Jimmy Tactor in the Hamiltonian, not exactly as he had scripted it or planned it out or even dreamt about it last night when he went to bed, but he does wind up finishing one-two as Nuncio couldn't hold him off. Two Hall of Famers battling it out. You heard it in Ken Workington's call, and watch the smile go up on Jimmy Tactor's face as he goes by his stablemate. Nuncio, you see him, he knows he's about to drive his first Hamiltonian winner, and that for him is a lifetime dream. And again, a look at Christina Tactor, and she knows at this stage of the game that Trixton is going to win this year's Hamiltonian. She is thrilled for her husband, as you pointed out, Dave. The one thing that Jimmy said that as he got older that he might not get an opportunity to do again is drive in a race of this caliber with this type of three-year-old trotter. And the way it unfolded today, even though it wasn't Father Patrick, it was still Team Tactor. It was, and sometimes you get what you pay for. $360,000 <laughs> was what it cost the ownership group uh, to get this horse out of the yearling sale, the highest price of his generation. So this is what they bought him for, and he got it done today. And a look at a jubilant Jimmy Tactor, who wins the Hamiltonian for the third time. Let's go down to Justin Horowitz standing by right Jimmy, alongside Jimmy. Trixton and Jimmy Tactor. Justin. Jimmy, I don't think you expected to win your first Hamiltonian as a driver like this with Father Patrick making a break, but how sweet is it anyway with Trixton? Uh, well, you know, it's like uh, I had two second myself in this race and uh, as a driver and I had two wins as a trainer and I, uh, you know, I mean, everybody bugging me not to drive this horse, you know, I mean, thing like that, but, you know, I, for me to do it, this is my moment. You told us this was your time to win this race. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, unfortunately for Patrick, I mean, he's such a champion, you know, that he made a break from that spot, you know. I mean, he's he's better than my horse, but you know, don't take any away from him. And uh, and I thought Nuncio fought a very well race, so you know, I'm very proud right now. Well, congratulations, your first Hamiltonian win as a driver in spectacular fashion with Trixton. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Even though he had sunglasses on, you could tell, no question, Jimmy Tactor was, in fact, choked up when Justin asked him about winning as a driver. We'll have the official results of the 89th Hamiltonian when we return. The Arena, for 50 yards of show-stopping, hard-hitting action. Don't miss the Philadelphia Soul take on the Cleveland Gladiators. It's Net 10 Wireless Arena Football. Tonight at 7, only on CBS Sports Network. The Jersey Shore is going strong. Find your perfect spot this summer at njgoingstrong.com. Coming this fall.
in these fields where the echoes of the past meet the opportunities of the future who will shatter world records who will rise above all others who will claim the mighty purses select your champion this fall winning people winning pedigree winning tradition winning is in our blood hanover the greatest name in harness racing pga championship on the range starts thursday at 10 30. coverage continues each night with clubhouse report at eight only on cbs sports network the power of this sport is when speed meets harmony only Verizon unites the two by providing in-car cameras that live stream each race. Even though there's only room for one in the cockpit, a driver is never alone. Because through our technology, every fan can see what drivers see. So with the IndyCar 14 app, you join the race at 200 miles per hour. Verizon and IndyCar, driving technology. Introducing iFit Active. The tool that transforms your daily routine into life-changing results. Sync your activity in and out of the gym for net calorie tracking, smarter workouts for a better body, sleep tracking for better nights, and calorie tracking for a healthier you. Move more. Make smarter choices. Achieve your goals. Try iFit Active, your 24-7 personal trainer, risk-free for 30 days. Shipping's free. Even download the app free. Now, it's easy to become a fit, healthier you. Go to iFit.com now. Hearts. They get all the love. What about me, the liver? When you overindulge, I clean you up. If that's not love, what is? Love your liver with Liverite Liver Aid, the natural dietary supplement that aids and supports liver function. Impurities in your liver can make you feel sluggish. Liverite's unique formula cleanses your liver from impurities in your diet and environment so you can have better energy, better quality of life. Love your liver with Liverite. Available at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and Walmart. The 2014 Hamiltonian on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by the Harness Museum and Hall of Fame in Goshen, New York. Open seven days a week. Visit harnessmuseum.org. By Brittany Farms. Breeding success from one generation to the next. And by the Little Brown Jug. Brought to you by Fazoli's. Watch live on CBS Sports Network on Thursday, September 18th at 5 p.m. Welcome back as we get ready to wrap up Hamiltonian Day 2014. There is daughter Nancy Johansson running behind. Marcus Johansson, her husband there as well. Hugs for uh, Dad. And there is his wife, Christina. You know, Dave, there were so many scenarios today. And this was one that could have worked out. It did, and they're still happy. They are. It's a wonderful winter circle presentation every year in the Hamiltonian. And here are the official prices here. Trixton going off at 4 to 1. He pays 10.60 to win. Stablemate Nuncio second. Harper Blue Chip up for third at a big price in the show spot. Let's congratulate the connections. Trixton is owned by Christina Tactor and Ben Agarup of Brixton Medical AB. And he was bred by Steve Stewart of Hunterton Farm, Marty Alice Sapala and John Bootsman. And the winner, Trexton, picks up a cool half a million dollars, half of the basically one million dollar purse. Now for the trophy presentation, let's head over to Sam McKee. Sam? Thanks, guys. It's time for the presentation of the greatest trophy in harness racing, the Silver Revere Bowl, signifying victory in the 89th edition of the Hamiltonian, America's Trotting Classic. We have Charlie Keller, chairman of the board of the Hamiltonian Society. Our guest presenter today, Kevin Jonas of Jonas Brothers Fames. Tom Charters, the president and CEO of the Hamiltonian Society. Winning trainer driver, Jimmy Tactor. His wife, Christina. In between them is co-owner, Bent Agrup. Jeff Gurrell, chairman of the Meadowlands. And Jason Settlemore, the CEO and GM. Tom, please do the honors, lift up the trophy. Jimmy will accept. Okay. Jimmy, on behalf of the New Meadowlands and the Hamiltonian Society, I am so pleased to present this trophy and add your horse to this great role of champions. And I have to add to bring back the trainer driver to this winner circle. It's been a while. I certainly thank you. And Jimmy Tactor, tremendous race. Tell us a little bit about that stretch drive. Nuncio on the inside, Trixton on the outside. Did you think you were going to get there? Oh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I got to say, uh, Nuncio, he, <coughs> he fought his heart out. He got hard pressure from Ronnie Swish. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, he was tough to get by. You've won two of these as a trainer. <laughs> now you've won one as a driver. What's it feel like? Well, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like anything, you know, I mean, uh, Right now, I'm a little bit, I don't know what to feel really, you know, I mean, you know, I was going into this race and I really expected for the Patrick to win the race, but, uh, you know, I find out afterward that he made a break, so, you know, I mean, uh, this horse here is, you know, I mean, like you, Sam, you've seen him here all the, uh, you know, uh, early summer here, you know, and I mean, he's a real deal and uh, I just love this horse and uh, I am so happy to be standing here right now. Trixton, the winner of the 89th renewal of the Hamiltonian for Team Tactor. Back to you guys. All right, a look at Trixton leaving the winner's circle. And Dave, this uh, makes Jimmy Tactor the second trainer ever to win the Hamiltonian and the Hamiltonian Oaks on the same day. And he does it as a driver, so it's also a, a little bit extra sweet. The uh, only other guy to do that, Jan Janssen back in 88. An unprecedented stat, and congratulations to Jimmy and his entire team. They do such a wonderful job of developing these champions over the years since he came here at the age of 17 here. Congratulations to our, all of our trotting champions today. Another wonderful Hamiltonian. Tony and Day. And as we look at the winner, Trixton, we're going to show you the complete order of finish. So Jimmy Tactor does, in fact, finish one, two in here. Father Patrick, after that break, winds up finishing last in the field of 11. So another Hamiltonian Day in the books. For Justin Horowitz and Dave Brower and our entire Sports Network crew, CBS Sports Network crew, I'm Gary Seibel saying so long from the New Meadowlands in New Jersey where Trixton has won the 2014 Hamiltonian in association with the Traeger Group. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.